DP we have learned the utmost disappointment. The statement that is going around uh, social media and it's being attributed to Dasila Mungu where she's crying and mourning and complaining. I think that is not necessary and that Zambians will not be taken for a ride to begin looking at those crocodile tears. Uh, firstly, what Tasila Lungu must understand is that her father never ruled this country diligently because it was during President Lungu that this country saw a lot of corruption, a lot of corruption. And this is evidenced by the millions and millions of dollars that were found in their homes and the other ladies that the SEC is following. You see, she should also understand that it was during her father's reign that this country experienced police brutality, political violence. Cadres were more powerful, more powerful than a police officer. Cadres were more powerful even in institutions of government. They would make decisions at the expense of professionals. So what is she talking about? President Lungu, with all diligence and respect and everything, he never ruled this country to the expectation of Zambians. And it was for that reason that Zambians decided to vote him out. And she says he handed over power peacefully. I mean, look. We are learned colleagues, we are learned colleagues. We know what the laws of Zambia say. If you lose an election, you have no objection but to give up power. So which peaceful handing over is Tassila talking about, for God's sake? Which peaceful uh, 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 handing over is she talking about? President Lungu had no, had no option, but he needed to hand over power to the person who had won elections. Simple. If he had hidden agendas to hold on to power, believe you me, Zambians would have thrown him out. Because Zambians were tired with what was happening. We were tired with what was happening. And to talk about, and to talk about, uh, uh, and corruption following them and everything and everything, I think that is also misplaced. Every person is answerable to the law and the law is blind. It does not choose whether former Republican president, whether former Republican president's daughter or son, you have to answer. And all the Zambian people are asking, Tassila, is that where did you get the money? Where did you get the wealth that you have? Because, I mean, before a President Lungu ascended to office, we know, we know the kind of life that you were leading. And we don't think that from being a councillor, a councillor was getting an allowance of 3,000 kwacha, you can build all those empires you have uh, built. No, it's not possible. So we are just asking, tell the people of Zambia through the government institutions that are interrogating you where you got the money that's all there is nothing no sinister no witch hunting just respond and lastly lastly we are very disappointed to even see how Tasila Lungu was crying because for God's sake she's a woman where were you Tasila where were you when your father's government was abusing and mistreating women. Where were you, Tassila, when your father's government was beating up women, arresting women? Where were you? Why didn't you stand up even for one day to tell your father to say, Dad, please spare the innocent women? Because you are a woman you would have felt the pain that we women were feeling when your father's government was putting us behind bars when your father's government 
was mistreating us in institutions of work, when your father's government was firing us from our workplaces, please give us some peace. I don't think we would tolerate that. Umuntunga ni pompwe. They have to be investigated. And if they are found guilty, the law must visit them.